Now that the Steelers are in, all we have uh, football fever. We all have football fever, playoff football fever. It's a rite of passage when the calendar turns to January. But another thing the new year represents may not be as fun, but also does have plenty of audibles as well. We're talking about taxes. Chris Lucatorto is joining us now. And as we all know, tax season can be stressful. And so we, we want to talk about preparing now because we're still waiting for some of those documents to be delivered. Exactly. So. Um, you know, I think while you're waiting for those documents to be delivered for your 23 filing, right. I think now is a really good time to think ahead for 2024. Right. Um, you know, maybe you start to reflect or project some of big life changes that are coming for 2024. So, you know, potentially if you have marriage on tap, children or dependents being added, um, you think maybe you have a job change with income up or down for the coming year. So I think now beginning of the year is a good time to start to think about that mm -hmm. a little bit as you go. You can make some adjustments as you go along in the year. And then a second item I think of too, um, while you're waiting for those tax doc documents to come in, um, as you prepare for 24, if you're, take an example, if you're employed through an employer, um, what, you know, take a look at that paycheck every once in a while throughout the year as mm -hmm. well. Um, you know, look at what your taxable income is, you know, maybe on a quarterly basis, how much is being withheld from your taxes as well. Right. Um, because that's important because in the end of the year, you want to be at a point where you're sort of breaking even mm -hmm. on how much mm -hmm. you're withholding versus what you're going to owe. Yeah, um, for your tax file. Because why withhold money that you could be spending if you don't exactly. need to be withholding? And that's sort yeah. of the and that's sort of why tracking progress. And we talked about it being a little bit stressful. Tax season can be stressful, but um, you know, tracking progress throughout the year can be important because that helps to reduce surprises. Um, and then, like you said, you don't want to have too much withheld, right? Mm -hmm. It is nice to get a big refund, but really that's money you could have had <laughs> yeah. throughout the year. And also, you don't want to owe too much at the end of the year either, because that's an unexpected negative surprise that could occur. Well, let's talk about savings accounts too, like IRAs, 401ks. What are some things that you need to keep in mind and look ahead to for this next year? Absolutely. So those are very, that's one example of a great pre-tax vehicle you can use. So it's sort of a win-win because one, it helps to reduce your taxable income, you know, if you have an employer sponsored 401k plan, so you, you contribute, contribute to that throughout the year. Um, traditional IRAs are another way you can do that as well. Um, and then, you know, a couple other items I think of pre tax um, are flexible spending accounts. Oh. So, right. if you have that for medical purposes, you can set aside pre tax dollars for medical purposes. Right. So, obviously, if something happens, um, you know, emergency wise, you can use the funds, but there's other items too, such as prescriptions doctor visits, um, you go to a chiropractor. I do, I budget for eyewear, you know, eyeglasses, oh, contact yeah, lenses, you can use that for as well. So it's pre-tax dollars you can utilize for those type of expenses. Yeah, and it totally makes sense. I mean, a 401k, you're, you're deferring the tax, and, and when you take the money out, you'll be paying at a lower tax rate is what is assumed. Right. Uh, so we want to ask you about digital folders and setting things up, because being organized Absolutely. makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, thinking about, um, and we have a little graphic here too, but thinking about um, 2023 preparation, right? Because a lot of those tax documents are going to start rolling in towards the end of this month. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to stay organized with those. And, you know, you can kind of take this time to reflect and say, what documents am I expecting for this year for my 2023 filing? And then once they start to come in, say, hey, that is matching expectations. And then you can have certain folders set up digitally, right? Mm -hmm. To say, okay, here's, here's my W-2s, here's my 1099s. I mean, all those exciting tax forms. But, I mean, they're necessities to help with your um, filing for the year. And if, you know, if you're not comfortable doing it on your own, you know, there's, those are then ready for your tax professional to help. Yeah. It was Pro cool to see that. Walking and probably that. better than a shoebox. Exactly, yeah. yes. <laughs> Although, you know, whatever works for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> whatever works for you. But I would highly re recommend the digital aspect of it because, you know, all the paperwork can be add to the clutter, essentially. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Really good information. Absolutely. Thank you yeah. for having me today. Can't wait to get our taxes done now. I know. Woo! Very all excited. right. <laughs> hey, be sure to catch our Money Monday conversation with Clearview Federal Credit Union at the start of each month right here on Pittsburgh Today Live.